My name is Carl Berggren. I'm an associate professor at MIT in electrical engineering, and I run the Nanostructures Laboratory here. The Nanostructures Laboratory is kind of a unique experiment. Uh, we have students using the laboratory, uh, researchers, staff, scientists, and we have people from small companies who have come into the laboratory because of the unique resources it has. The main thrusts of my current research is in two areas, one on nanofabrication, and there we're really interested in methods of controlled fabrication of really, really small structures, so down below 10 nanometers, which would be one ten thousandth of the diameter of a human hair. So trying to do controlled top-down engineering of structures of those dimensions promises a kind of interesting possibility that you could unite electrical engineering with disciplines such as chemistry and biology. The photodetector project is another project where the theory and the experiment come close in hand. We can build these nanostructured devices, we can detect single photons with them, but then trying to understand the optics of single photons is another really interesting theoretical challenge. The culture here of a really deep interest in engineering is unique. And the number of faculty, just the sheer magnitude of really taught people is what makes MIT um, such a great place to do engineering and science. MIT sort of embraces it in a way that only a few other places in the world do. And you can sense that culture just talking to people and walking down the hall. It sends a message of this is really a place where we care about engineering and we love it. The best experience about being in RLE and being at MIT is definitely the ability to interact both with the students in my group and the students and the faculty in other groups where uh, they are bringing a whole set of different set of skills and a whole great enthusiasm to these projects and just having, just bumping into people in the halls and also having organized meetings and makes it a really rich environment to work in. The students who work in the Nanostructures Laboratory have a real hands-on sense. Uh, they get down under the equipment, take it apart, put it back together. Uh, they really understand both the processes and the tools they use at a deep level, and a lot of them are involved in building new tools, and that's a really unique aspect of that laboratory. These are very bright and, and, and very hardworking students, and they, they want to get involved into the most exciting parts of the research right off. So, at any level, postdoctoral, graduate, and undergraduate students uh, are all team members in the, in the group. Uh, the, the classroom instruction is also something that really benefits the group because you get into the classroom, even if you're talking about a sophomore circuits problem, it's bringing things into your mind all the time that you haven't had to worry about for a long time. And then you could turn to your research problem and all that stuff is fresh. And all of a sudden, a whole, whole fresh set of ideas can be applied to the research. I think it's really important to have many, many ways of thinking about science and engineering concepts. And you may have thought about a topic all your life, but there's always someone out there who has a new way of thinking about it. And very often, those people are the students who are in your classes or in your research group. And so you're constantly getting those new ways of thinking about things. And that's then going to help you draw parallels with other concepts that you know about, and, and those parallels then let you grow research ideas. We put forward a culture and that we contribute to the culture of engineering and science that has really made the world what it is today. In the nanofabrication of structures that are less than 10 nanometers in dimensions, uh, being able to say 10 or 20 years from now, look at a microchip that has dimensions down at the 10 nanometer and below length scale and say, our technologies are really what enabled the industry to get to that length scale. And so being able to push that even, even a little bit further than people originally thought it might be able to go uh, would be something that would have a lasting uh, impact. So that's a pretty exciting proposition as well.